dun 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 Star Wars! I just watched it, and I have to say, I am pretty indifferent about it. Okay, here's the thing, guys. I, I really love Star Wars. Like, you can ask my friends. I'm pretty much a freak about it. But uh, the first act of this was really padded out. And yes, I am wearing the old shirt again because I am actually wearing a singlet. And I didn't think of that. Uh, but yeah, I... I still liked it enough. I, I would say it's kind of like drinking water. Like, you drink enough water and you're like, okay, I'm fine. And then you have to go pee. And then you're like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have drank too much water. It, it's pretty much that for me. Like, watching this movie. Because certain parts, I was like, okay, you could have cut this down. But other parts are just so inspired. I'm just like... Oh my god, I really love these shots, especially the connection between like Ray and um, Kylo Ren. And yes, full on spoilers, I don't care if you haven't watched the, the movie because it's been out for like a week at, at most right now and like a lot of people have watched it. And if you haven't watched it, go watch it, please support them. Um, and I have taken uh, a new twist to, to Star Wars maybe, hopefully, uh, that hasn't been done before, hopefully, as well. Uh, <laughs> I will be talking to you about the D-Box experience because I bought uh, the D-Box for, for this movie and let me tell you something, it was super worth it for this film. If your D-Box wasn't working, man, oh shit, you, you missed out, but like... If, if if it were just in a normal seat, I, I think it would have been fine as well. I'm just saying, like, you needed that. Like, I think for me, that's what, like, made Rogue One so special. Especially the ending, because I was in IMAX for that. And, like, once that, like, fucking, fucking like, light turned out, you're in a, like... A fucking dark room with like people that you don't know and then suddenly you hear fucking Darth Vader's voice it sends chills down your spine because you're with the rebels right uh, but yeah other than that I would say like you know uh, I really appreciated the sad pieces in this I mean my god like they were big and they were they were not holding back but obviously some they had to show like some of it like in a short while because they have to focus on the story and I get that um, the whole thing about the hacking into the Snoke's uh, computer I, I think that wasn't really needed but we needed to see Finn do something so I think that was a side plot mostly for Finn and it didn't really let us catch our breath because it just immersed us in this world and it just keeps going and going um, I th I thought that again the um, the connection between uh, Kylo Ren and uh, Ray was really well done. And when you're in D box, you're you're with the Tie Fighter. So when you're uh, it, you're you're seeing the space fights, you're in there with them and you're flying around. But I, I at one point, you know, I was just like, okay, we I had enough. Like I, if, especially the first act, I was just like, okay, that that's that's enough. Like stop there. Like we know. What's gonna happen? You're gonna destroy the ship, but then the the main ship is still gonna chase after you. We got it. Like, please move on. But they, they kind of take it its time, and it's pretty weird. Um, I I still really love the island that Luke was on. Um, but uh, th th I guess the porridge didn't really annoy me. Maybe the one in the ship, but I think th it wasn't like Baby Groot where it was like, okay, I. I really know what you're doing. Uh, please stop. Like, just the scene with them like is enough. Like I, I totally get it. Uh, like you want to sell the toys? Fine, go ahead. Uh, I bet they're gonna sell those like indigenous people of the um, the island as well. So I I'm not really, I'm not really against that. Uh, but my God, the cinematography in this one was top class like there was a scene where they kind of do the, the harry potter thing where like the, she touches the glass and she like goes like infinite selves and i'm like whoa that's really cool and she's like show me my parents which is like a harry potter like mirror thingy right but 
it doesn't. It just shows herself, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's really that's a really cool visual for for you to do. And apparently, she does know about the parents. She just doesn't want to really accept it at that moment. So I th I think it's more on like she wants to really find out about herself, but like doesn't really know where to start from. Um, and I thought that um. Luke's scenes were a bit too short and maybe I feel like it should have been the other way around because like there was a scene where I think they could have killed off Leia perfectly but they didn't really use it to their advantage maybe they thought they could do more with Leia but with Carrie Fisher now passed away rest in peace I definitely think they should have been like okay well since we killed the Han Solo off I think you know we can do it with uh, Leia because like she suddenly just gets force powers and I know it's in their family but like it's just weird because she's just like and then she can fucking survive um but Luke freaking like passes away because like he he, he uses uh, his powers and I get it, it does make sense as well I'm not saying it doesn't make sense but I was like yeah you could have you could have dealt with that better, and uh, I definitely think that, you know, uh, Kylo Ren's betrayal was not really unknown to me because, like, I was like, uh, yeah, it, it's the same as Han Solo's death. If you if you couldn't guess it, then you're just fucking stupid. You know what I mean? Uh, because I'm just like, yeah, he he's dead. Like, I mean, you know, it's just, it's just a given. Um, and I think you know it did make sense in another possible layer as well because like he's just tired of being manipulated around so he kills Snook thinking that Ray would join him by his side and like rebuild the the like the new order whatever like you know new lifestyle and I think she should have like I don't think she should have held on to the old ways because like there's always gonna be new evil and all that but like by uh, like her side or his side like I think they can like work things out and like compromise um, there was like a new character, the Rose character, which like the uh, like Jack Fruit on Instagram uh, did, did post a lot of that. Like he, he those kind of accounts like support like um, Asian representation, uh, Asian representation in uh, film, uh, and uh, yeah, I I really kind of liked their performance. I I wouldn't say love it because that's like okay some. Some scenes she didn't really bring uh, it. Of course, she's she's still the wide-eyed girl that wants to believe that everything is in order, but she can't because you know it's it's life. You know you can't um, do it all the time. Um, and I thought that uh, you know Kylo Ren's appearance was really really cool, like because he was a hologram and that was in the third act. Um, there was nothing much to talk about in the second act because it's mostly mostly fluff and I thought that was really really padded out so that kind of brought the movie to a halt for like no reason I guess it's the, that was the part where we were supposed to breathe but I'm just like okay like we, we've, we've done it please move on you know like we can skip the the Finn, Finn side story although I, I really wanted to see the, the fight between Phasma and uh, Finn or even more than you know, just tch, 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 and then she falls in a fucking thing. Um, but yeah, I do think it's timing issues, it's pacing issues uh, is there as well. <laughs> For me, I think you know I'm not that type of person who who is like okay, I really wanted Star Wars from my past Christmas and I got it and. This Christmas I got Star Wars again. I I won't be the guy who's like, oh, I got Star Wars again. Wow, thank you. I I am still very grateful that we get Star Wars, and I think we're gonna get more Star Wars. So, that's that's really a plus for me because I just want something epic and something really immersive. And this was really really immersive. I didn't really, I didn't even tell you the best scene for me. It was when Kylo and uh, Rey is uh, like after the death of Snoke like they're fighting over the saber right like they're at opposite ends and they're like fighting for this fucking saber and then it freaking splits and I'm like what like the 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 iconic lightsaber of Luke Skywalker and Anakin Skywalker and all the greats like Obi-Wan Kenobi even used it like 
Oh my god, like, I, I just, my jaw literally just dropped. And I had, like, tears in my eyes because I'm like, oh my god. Um, and yeah, it was really, really emotional for me because that is, like, the iconic thing for Star Wars, the lightsaber. Uh, so I wonder how Rey is going to get another lightsaber or is she going to create her own lightsaber because, you know, it's a Jedi, you know, Jedi is supposed to have their own uh, lightsaber, you know, that's why th there was the kyber crystals that uh, Dot Yen's character was talking about. Um, and, yeah, now, now to talk more about the bad stuff, uh, Yoda, man, oh, man, it, it's, it's so sad because... I, w I was really trying to say, well, no, it's it's not a CGI puppet, it's not a CGI puppet, but, yeah, it's a CGI puppet, and it was so obvious, and I'm like, oh my god, you, you could have done this, like, so much better, it, it could have been done, like, I didn't even really notice, like, Tarkin until, like, I watched it a second time, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's, it's pretty noticeable, um, but yeah, like, for kids, they they won't really notice, but for me, I, I'm I'm just like okay, it, it kind of it it kind of is hurting me the uncanny valley feeling, and I'm like okay, I I kind of miss the old Yoda right now, like the puppet Yoda, but also like the early version of Yoda, like I mean the 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 second prequel, like I really enjoyed that for for CG Yoda, that that was a good CG Yoda. Um, and I really love the action sequences, even though a lot of people don't really like the, the action sequences in, uh, the prequels. I just thought second and, the second one and the third one was the, really the best. I do remember, like, forgetting a lot on this first one, but, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the second and the third one. Even though the first one was really, really good as well, because there was the double-edged sword thingy, and I hope they bring that back, because... Uh, I certainly think they're trying to bring some stuff out of Lucas's ideas and, and doing it properly because that was the red stormtrooper scene when uh, Snoke died and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Like they have like other weapons that are kind of sabers in itself and it's really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, I know this like review is going everywhere, but I guess the, the movie did go everywhere as well. Uh, yeah, I, I really, really like that uh, Luke had to relearn some stuff from Yoda, and, you know, he's not, he's not a perfect guy, and, you know, he admits that, you know, it was his fault, and he, he even, like, told Leia, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I, I tried my best, you know, um, and obviously, like, Leia understands that, you know, Kylo is pretty much a gone case, like, he doesn't, really listen to reason anymore and when you can't reason with somebody you really can't do much like you you your only choice is to kind of like end them you know i mean like just fucking kill them um i i would say i would give this a solid Okay, before I give it a rating, like, where do I rank this in terms of, like, Force Awakens? I think I would rate, like, Rogue One first because I really enjoyed the third act so much that I kind of preferred it over the Force Awakens. Because, like, the Force Awakens was just kind of like that bringing back of, like, uh, uh, New Hope and Empire a bit. And uh, Last Jedi was basically Return of Jedi. Uh, Return of the Jedi, um, but you know there was other twists, and I think they they did have to do that in terms of like okay, we don't wanna we don't wanna make it too obvious for for the Star Wars fans as well. Like we do need to we do need to put in twists and turns. So I think I would I would put Rogue One, then Force Awakens, then Jedi because I think. Jedi in its in its own right is is very very visually interesting. I th I think you know it's in its own right. I think it does deserve a nomination for at least the cinematography because it was so awesome and it was so 
It was so good. It brought back the old timey transitions, of course, but I, even that like kind of worked its way in, and I didn't. I didn't really feel like there was any fan service or anything. Uh, if anything, I think, you know, they were addressing some of the fans' problems with like C three PO and um, you know, uh, C three PO and a bit of of R two D two as well. I thought that. They were trying to get that out there. And uh, I like that, you know, Luke does acknowledge that the Jedi were pompous and they were, you know, in itself, like, arrogant about themselves. Like, they they kind of, you know, broke their own code, but they, they don't, didn't want to admit it. And, like, they, they just, like, say, oh, no, 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 we, we, we're changing the rules. We're not really, we're not really breaking them we, we we create the rules so we get to do what we want it's, it's those pretentious like religious who like do like talk about like religion and extend but never really practice it at home like that that's the amount of hypocrisy that goes on in the world and luke does address it and he's like yeah you know like they never did understand that you know being a Jedi is just so much more than, than than the religion, you know, it is more on, you know, how you view balance as a whole because the Force is not belonging to one way or the other, like, you know, even, even in, in the Sith, like, even in Revenge of the Sith, it is said, like, you know, like, the Force isn't just the Jedis, you know, there is the dark side of the force, but like it's there because blah blah blah. It's kind of that Star Wars the Force of Evil like argument, and I think it's really good that we give children that argument because nothing in this world is ever one hundred percent bright. There's no one hundred percent sun all the time. There's gonna be. 50% rain, there's gonna be 40% rain, there's gonna be 30% snow, 40% snow, whatever. It's not always gonna be bright and sunny and rainbows and whatever. How do we get rainbows? It's after rain. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is always gonna be obstacles in life, and I think it was so much important to that message. And for me, I think that was uh, more interesting. Um, I gave Force Awakens a really high score, like 8.7. I think this kind of gets an 8.5 for me. I, I really, I really still do respect the decisions that they made. I, I do like the mythos expanding. Um, I don't, I haven't read the negative reviews yet. I, I went in this totally blind, totally hyped. Maybe that's the issue as well. Like, if there's too much hype for me and I'm too excited about something when something just doesn't reach that excitement for me, I, I meh, but it, like, I'm just like, okay, it achieved just enough, and it, it's also a shame, but I'm not disappointed, like, but, like, I, I guess a, a really bad example of, like, meeting my expectations, like, head-on would be Nerve, like, the, the movie Nerve, you know, it did everything that I expected it to be. It never challenged anything, but this one at least challenged some things in that they brought new characters in, they brought new creatures in, they brought a new beat to it that puts on a new layer for this new empire, essentially. And you get people who know the, like, feel the force, not really know the force, but feel the force, and that was what the ending was about, like, if you have hope, and you've seen people fight for good, and fight for, for what they believe in, and they're passionate about it, then, you know, you would want to get involved, and, you know, you would want to join the future fight, but for me, I really would have taken the offer f from Kylo Ren and kind of kept him in check. That, that is just my opinion about things because I would have definitely think uh, I would have definitely thought that things would have changed because she said she wasn't 
are related to to them and i i swear to god they did it perfectly the shots like because like at one point like uh luke could see leia through the force so like you know let like and then like kylo and ray could see through the force so we thought that they were related but they aren't which is a breath of fresh air um but yeah i i still really enjoy the action sequences i still really enjoyed the cinematography and uh, videography and all of that uh, wonderful wonderful stuff production skills um i thought the acting in this was a bit better uh i definitely think like i i just want a real jedi master for once like i i just want someone who who knows the force and like can practice it and i want that to be donnie and i really do like i'm sorry like i i i'm just a fan of donnie Yen. and i would i would really like to see a real martial artist like fighting with the lightsaber because we never really saw that in rogue one uh but we did see him kind of fight off the stormtroopers with that thingy um which ray has now um and Rey is actually pretty OP, like, I get why some people are like, well, she's a Mary Sue, but, um, it does make sense, you know, raw, untapped power can be actually really, really powerful, you know, because it's untamable and you don't have practice and you kind of just, like, you know, just, like, use it in, in a way that you don't understand how to use it, uh, but it's also focus, you know, it's also, you know, what you know, and I think she took what she learned from Luke and just elevated it. And I thought I, I thought it was really interesting, though. Uh, so, yeah, final score, 8.5 out of 10. I, I wouldn't say I would watch it again, but I, I would recommend people to go and watch it because it's, it's Star Wars. It's very big. It's very grand. And I would say try the D-Box experience. If you've never tried the D-Box experience, go try it with uh, The Last Jedi because it was so awesome. Uh, you know, you get to move in the chairs. Uh, you know, you get to move with them as well. Uh, the only problem for me is that it, because of the pacing of this film, it kind of gets a bit stale, like, through the second act, and you're just like, okay, just, like, lower down a bit. Uh, but yeah, when when they were, you know, pulling the the lightsaber apart, that was really when the debugs should have kicked in, but it didn't. It just jolted because of the force as well. But you know, I I just wanted it to be like shaking, because of the force, and you know, it was shaking a little bit, but you know, not not as much. Um, anyway. That's about it, guys. Uh, sorry for going so long. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with more. Uh, I'm just catching up with everything. I So far, I've kept caught up with uh, Channel Zero, Star Wars Force of Evil, the new holiday special thingy that came out on. I just caught up on Gotham. I'll talk about it later. Uh, I will catch up with DC's Legends tomorrow. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to do The Flash because I'm... I'm done with the Flash. I'm just done with the Flash. Uh, so yeah, the one more show to catch up on and I'll do the everything in between. I'll try to keep it down to 20 minutes, about here, 24 minutes around. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and if you'd like to see more from me, please leave a subscribe. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to hear first hand news from me or would not like to be subscribed, uh, unsubscribed from me, Please hit the bell so that you can be notified from uh, YouTube and also, you know, because YouTube loves to unsubscribe. Please hit the bell so that you are still subscribed. Um, and uh, remember that um, I love you and uh, may the forest be with you. See you in the next video.